Hi, I'm Mark Nielsen. I'm an associate professor in psychology. I teach two courses, one a large core second year subject and I also have a third year elective. I use WordCloud in both of them. Um, I use them in lectures primarily as a way of engaging students and as a little bit of a break between having them listen to me talk. So the ways in which I use WordCloud are to try and get students to think about a kind of big issue and to get their opinions on it in a way that um, single words can kind of bring out. So for example, in my second year course, I'll ask them to write down all the things they think that define who they are. That way um, we get an indication of the things that they think are important and who have made them who they are. I can then use that to refer to lecture content and in the lecture that I use that in, I talk about the role of culture in defining who people become. And what we often see is when I use the word cloud, actually things that are connected to culture spring up. And so I'm able to link what the students themselves are conveying is important to them to the content of the lecture. And I think it feeds back to them how their own opinions are actually being reflected in, in lecture content. Um, the uh, way in which I used it in this morning's lecture is I am talking about the ways in which uh, human cumulative culture works and how we build on things from one generation to the next and I talk to them about uh, the Kingdom Tower that's being built presently that will be 1.6 kilometres high and I simply ask them to, to input into the word cloud the things that they thought were important in enabling us to go from building basic dwellings to a 1.6 kilometre high tower. And uh, they come up with things like, as we've got here, things like cooperation, uh, creativity, imagination. And I can then refer to that during the lecture and I can keep coming back to it um, as the lecture unfolds. I think in, in using the word cloud, um, the best benefit comes from, from kind of big picture questions. Anything specific I think will just get washed away. So the, the biggest advice I would have is use it where there are a, a big questions that you want to get some insight. Treat it as an engagement tool. Uh, it's a way in which students can just have a break as well. And it's also a kind of um, funny things come out of it. And so students will always write things that are quite humorous. Um, this I've been using WordCloud now for about four or six semesters. For some way it has entered into the student vernacular that when I do a WordCloud, someone writes John Cena. It comes up every time I do it, but it's now become a point of humour and I refer to it every time I do a WordCloud. My students think it's funny and so it's kind of, uh, it provides a, a break in the lecture whilst being embedded in something far more serious. What I found works best is when I'm using WordCloud uh, to have my lecture slides being presented via my laptop, but have the WordCloud um, run through the desktop. That saves me having to try and toggle between my PowerPoint slides and the WordCloud when I want to display it. It also means that I can actually see the WordCloud unfolding without uh, it being revealed to students. It allows them to um, not be influenced by what's coming up on the screen until I want that to happen.